Hello, my fellow crafters. After two weeks of hard work, I finally finished my latest design. This cute little 112 scale velvet shell chair. Let me show you how to make it. There are three pages in the pattern that we are going to follow in this video. You can download it for free in the description below. We are going to cut eight pieces out of a cardboard cereal box for the bottom of the chair. Use tacky glue to join the eight pieces together. Make sure to press firmly to get a good bond. I used a sanding block to ensure smooth edges. It will make it easier for the fabric to go on flat. Trace this pattern onto the velvet fabric. This will be the cover of the piece we just made. Cut triangular notches about every 5 mm around the edges of the fabric. Apply the glue on the back edge of the circle. This way the glue won't show through the fabric on the front. Cut out the C back pattern and glue it onto the cereal box. Then cut it out. Don't forget to cut the triangle notches marked on the edge of the pattern. Attach the back to the bottom with the pattern side facing out. Bend the cardboard to the shape of the chair bottom before applying hot glue. Press firmly until the glue has cooled. Make sure the bottom of the chair is flush with the seat back. I have tried many different materials, but I have found this to work the best for this special cushion shape. Cut a slice off of 1 cm thickness. Trace the seat back cushion onto the sponge. Cut the top line as shown. Now line this up with the bottom line on the sponge and the trace and transfer the lines from the pattern as shown. Use a sharp knife to score the vertical lines on the pattern as shown. Do not cut into the horizontal lines. Don't go deeper than about 6 mm. Glue the sponge onto the back piece. Line it up so the left and the right sides are evenly spaced. Cut out the seat back cushion fabric cover. Watch the fabric stretch direction. Mark a 1cm line 
at the left side of the back of the seabag pattern. This will be the glue line for the fabric cover. We will tuck the fabric into the sponge from left to right. Make a big knot in your thread by rolling it around your finger two or three times. Push the needle into the dots marked on the pattern as shown. Make sure the needle comes out in between the sponge and the seed bottom. Make sure your knot is big enough. Smooth out your fabric, then wiggle the thread a few times to help guide into the slot we made. Use hot glue to secure the thread and the knot. Make sure to smooth the fabric before each section of the shell shape. After you've done the cushion, you may find some thread is not tight enough. You can fix that like this. Draw another 1 cm line at the right side of the back of the seat back. This will be the glue line for the right side of the fabric. Cut the excess fabric at the back. Then cut two strips of fabric at the right and the left corners as shown. When you glue the corners, make sure to pinch the strips and pull the fabric tightly. Now we are making the seat back cover. Cut out the cardboard and the fabric. Glue the left and the right side to secure the fabric first. Cut off some notches on the top and the bottom as shown.
glue the back cover onto the back seat. Now I didn't use the hot glue for this part. It's most likely you're gonna have to uh, pull out and readjust the position. So we hold it until the glue is dry. Now we're doing a seat bottom cushion, cut out the cardboard and a 7mm thickness of the sponge as the cushion filling plus a fabric cover. Glue the sponge onto the cardboard and press firmly. There are two pieces of fabric cover. And make sure to mark the sewing line on this piece. Make sure to face the fabric as shown. Sew the strip along the circle. Here I'm using the back stitches. Cut some knots around the edges. Put the glue on the cardboard and seal the back. Cut the pieces as shown. Now we are going to make the leg holders. Glue the two C bottom cover together. Then we glue this pattern on top of four pieces of the cardboard. Use a sharp knife to cut out these four notches. Then glue it onto the seat bottom cover. Use a sandpaper or sand block to smooth out the edges. Cut out the leg pattern and the glue onto the cardboard, then cut it off. Then we glue the cut off leg back onto the cardboard and make another layer. So we repeat this for four times. Each leg will need four layers of the cardboard. If you trace four legs individually and cut it off, glue them together, you won't get as smooth edges as by doing this way.
Here is the result, really smooth and line up properly. I chose gold to paint the seat bottom cover and the legs. Glue the legs as shown in the video. Watch the direction. Last step, glue the bottom onto the chair body. I hope you enjoy making it. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you next week.